So I'm going to be showing you how to make money charging Lime scooters, but something you guys didn't know was that I'm actually a pretty good scooter and I'm gonna show you what I got today. Watch. So obviously that was a joke, but let me show you what I really got. Do it. Let's get on with the video. You see? Now look at this. Ooh, look there's money that. right there. That's right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna park because I gotta figure out a route. Today I'm trying something new that I didn't even know existed. And I put myself in danger just to gain some free 99 knowledge. So press the like button to let me know you wanna see more videos like this. Today we are making money charging lime scooters. You know when you go to the beach? And you see those people on the scooters blocking up traffic? Well, did you know you could charge those and make some money? I didn't. Every time I go to a beach with the family and I see somebody driving a scooter right in front of me, I'm like, get the hell out of here. I found a guy in LA who was making $5,000 a month charging line scooters. And I'm going to show you the whole process and how much we actually made charging line scooters for one night. So hope you enjoyed the video and if you have an idea of a business you want me to try and make some money from it, comment down below because I'm always looking for new ideas. Hope you enjoyed the video. So right now I'm with the homie Edgar. What's up Edgar? Hey man, how's it going Reyes? So give me a quick title of what you do. You charge bird scooters? Pick up scooters, both birds and life. Oh, there's Burton, two there's two, like That's Uber right. and Lyft. That's right, exactly. Yeah, right. so it's Burton and Lime. Do they all pay the same? No. They're, now, are we only gonna do birds? We're gonna do both. <laughs> Even though we'll be doing both, in this video, we are only focusing on Lime scooters. But don't worry, making money charging bird scooters will be uploaded in a few days after this video. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Give us a quick rundown of how to start charging scooters and make money out of it. Here's the beauty of it. Yeah. Technically, you don't need to invest any money. Yeah. So all you gotta do is you download the app, you download the Bird app, you download the Lime app, and then you just apply. And that's the tricky part, depending on where you work or where you live. Because here in LA, I applied for Lime, and it took me about three weeks to get accepted. So it's a random process. Really? You can apply today and you'll get accepted maybe in a month, or you can apply today and get accepted within a year. So it's random. I want to say it's a random because... Yeah. The only bad thing about charging scooters is that you have to do it at night. We have to wait until about 9.30. But if I close my eyes really tight, and I click my chanclas three times, it will already be. So it's 9.30, we're about to head out. Got our spiffy vest, you know. Hey, how come we need a vest? Uh, just, you know, it helps out with police, they identify you. Yeah. Uh, mainly because sometimes we don't park in the best of places. Yeah. So if they see that you have that vest and they see you pick up scooters, they won't even take a second look at you. I thought it was a chick magnet. Oh, well, that too, of course. I mean, look at that. <laughs> that model right there. Gee. This guy's a hustler for sure, man. Look at that. Look at Edgar. He's a hustler. And you, you say you make $300 a month off this? Of just... It costs you $300. It's basically free. Yeah. You just got to drive 40 hours? You're the real deal, Edgar. I would assume this is like a little dangerous job. In the middle of the night, you know, a lot of homeless or this and that. Have you ever had any situations where you had to defend your life? One guy, one time I went to pick up a scooter and I didn't see the homeless guy. He was sleeping, he was covered. Yeah. And the moment I scanned it, it makes a sound. And he, I'm gonna say he was high or something. He got out, his eyes are red. He's like, you're not touching my mother from scooter. And he just took it from me. Wow. He weighed 65 pounds. He made it look like a feather. He just took it. And he just took it and ran with it. I was like, <laughs> I'm not going after it. I just I sent them an email. I was like, take this off. This is what happened. They're like, no worries. Okay, okay. 
Hey, hopefully we don't counter anything today. Oh, well, hopefully we do, because I have bucket. Oh, hopefully we do. <laughs> hopefully we do, bro, because I need the content. That's right. I know. need a thumbnail. Let's roll. <laughs> there you guys go, man. Ray's entrepreneur put his life in danger for that free 99 knowledge. Because I got you guys. I got you. So, for example, it tells us right here the drop off. We have to drop off the scooters by seven, whatever we pick up. Yeah. So, what we do is we harvest. Serve is when we drop it off. Right now, we're picking up, so we're harvesting. We zoom out. Oh, and that's all the scooters right there? No, we're going for the green. The green means we're just charging them. The red means you pick it up and you drop it off without charging, but they pay you a lot less, and there's a lot less of those. As soon as it goes from 9.59 to 10, you'll see thousands just pop up on the no map. No way. Oh, our first pickup. So here, yeah. let me show you how it looks on the map. So we'll zoom it in, and you see how we're the blue dot? And yeah. that's just, so I'll make a ring, and that's gonna flash right there. So that scooter is gonna start flashing now. You see? Oh, if they flash. <laughs> Let's go get our first scooter. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Let me get out. How about the other one? The other one, no? No, so we're only doing... Uh, oh, the, the other one's bird or what? The other one's uh, bird, yeah. Oh, can we stop here? Well, we can for a short amount of time. So that's the good thing about having a cargo van. Yeah. The police come, they won't stop us. Unless we took off in a couple minutes, delicious people, like the one behind us, they'll honk at us. Yeah. The guy behind us is honking. Like he owns the street. No, we own the street today. Right. So that's how it is. That's how it is. Yeah, just making angry drivers all the time. Basically. <laughs> and as you can see, it tells you how much we made for that one. So we got 450. That's right. Now we go ahead and zoom out again. And it'll tell us where the other ones are at. And there they are. So we gotta go get that one now. We're gonna go get that one. We serve it so no one else takes it. And so what you were driving for Lyft? Yeah, so uh -huh. I was driving for Lyft uh, a couple months ago. He was also he he had a TCP license at the bottom, so it means he was also a driver. He just cut me off out of nowhere and I just honked at him because you know it's the airport you're getting like cars are really close by there's not a lot of space and we were almost gonna crash anyways he pulls to the right he drop off this person I pull up maybe a hundred feet uh, more which is where I was supposed to drop off my passenger my passenger gets off as soon as she gets off this guy just comes to my window to the passenger window and he pulls out a knife he's like hey mother effer why were you honking at me a knife I, like, I kid you not it one of so many people on LAX, a driver, and I was like, oh hell no. So I was like, you know, I just flipped him up, uh, pushed the gas, and I was like, no, never again dealing with this BS. No, no, no longer doing lift. So when are you gonna start driving here in LA, right? Never. <laughs> I hate LA traffic. Oh, right here? I believe that's one of them. If not, it's the one in the back. On the other side of the street. So this is something that will happen. I'll we'll show it on this side, but it's on the other one, so I have to turn around. What I do want to show you is that now it's 10 p.m. Remember how we didn't see that many before? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. So you could do this all night if you wanted to. Well, yes and no. Oh, Lime has a 30 limit, huh? Well, when you start, you only have a 10 scooter limit. As you do more consistent work with them, they'll increase it. You see? Now look at this. Ooh, there's money right there. That's right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna park because I gotta figure out a route so we're not just going for one and one and oh, one. Oh, this is the point where That's you right. you get your game plan. Because we have to make a very legal U-turn. Very, very legal. <coughs> <laughs> so here, same thing. Get down, put emergency lights. You wanna get it? Uh oh, we might have our first competition. He's taking a scooter somewhere. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Where is he gonna take it? So was that guy competition or he he was just riding it? No. So you see how it's beeping? I don't know if you can hear it. It's very, very faintly. But it's beeping. Yeah, that means that that's the charge. But he basically got it. So now we have to do the amazing job of letting him know to give it to us. We we gotta take it away from him? We have to. You have to? Yeah. No way. They can't, they can't take them if they're not paying. That's one of the things that we have to do as a scooter charger. Is that the scooter that's beeping? Huh? Is that the scooter that's beeping? I don't think so. It's down there. Thank you. Oh, you see? 
we have to do it. So he pretty much was telling me that he had one of the scooters that we reserved and he was taking it. We have to do the Stone Cold Steve Austin stunner on him and then take it, I guess. I'm ready, yeah, I'm ready. We've been driving for a few minutes and we already made what, $18? $18. You wanna know what I'm into? We can start with a blindfold. You know the love goes deep, baby. Tell me. You see how many are in that pickup? He's a competition. That's right. And he has his kid working with him. I'm gonna snitch him out to the HR or whoever. Now nah, I'm messing. Dude, that's at least 30 scooters. Damn, look how he has them piled up, though. They're not gonna fall? They might. Some, some of them do. But I risk it. Damn. We gotta go, go punch him, bro. So, we have a scooter, but uh, we have a situation. So a homeless person, or someone who's just really tired, is laying on top of the scooter. We just gonna let that one go, Edgar? We just gonna let that one go? And that would've been $6.48. Cause it's after 11, so now it's start going up. Oh, after, oh, the, going up in pricing? oh, the later it is, the more money you get? Yeah. What? That would've been six bonus keys? For example, the one we're going for is that amount. So they're no longer 450. Oh, I didn't know that. So the later it is in the night, the higher the price. The higher the price. It goes up to 10 or 12 dollars, bro. I sleep all day for 10 or 12 dollars. <laughs> so you could definitely do bird full time because this guy over here, this month alone, five thousand dollars just by charging scooters, man. I'm in the wrong business. You could definitely charge lime scooters and make a full time income out of it. You could make a living out of it. One with an angle, driving through life that ain't paid yet, through the good and the bad. Edgar has made. A hundred and forty-four dollars and eighty-one cents for an hour and a half of work. Not bad, but wait, but wait. Here's the challenge. We have to charge these scooters and put them back in different spots by 7 a.m. And if we don't, and if we're late by one minute, Lime cuts your earnings by half. So instead of getting $144, you'll get $72. So let's go home, charge them, put them back, and see if we're gonna get paid today. It's about midnight, and now we have to unload all 30 scooters, organize them, and start charging them. And we have to wait about four hours for them to be fully charged before we could take them out. Now tell me you love in life. You're the magic kind of portion. You got me spilling now like an ocean. But don't ask me what I wanna do Cause all I really wanna do is you Your red lips There we go All the scooters are charging right now So it's, dang it's already 320 the scooters are pretty much done charging so we're gonna put them back in the van and then go drop them off and I'm not sleepy you guys are sleepy now that all the lime scooters are charged put in the van let's go drop them off where right here anywhere and also there's certain spots that when you place a lime scooter there you're gonna get an extra dollar so let's see how much we make in total that's right we gotta scan them scan the QR code one like two, like three. Step back, take a picture. Not a selfie, but a picture of the scooters. Everything I'm doing is seventeen dollars and forty-one cents. What is this? Oh yeah, seventeen dollars. We're pretty much in the spots that give you an extra dollar. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Foreign. Yeah, you see my web, you know it's foreign. I'm so foreign. Then you see my girl, you know she foreign. I'm in Lauren. You've been wearing Tommy, got that foreign. You so boring. I've been up and working at it's foreign. I'm so foreign. Yeah, you know my web, you know it's foreign. I'm so foreign. Then you see my girl, you know she foreign. I'm in Lauren. You've been wearing Tommy, got that foreign. Nice. So we just finished unloading the last scooters. What time is it? I think it's like 11 p.m. No. It's 4:37. Woo! Edgar, we're done, man. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So, but before I go, Edgar, thank you so much, man. 
for bringing me along, giving me this free night night knowledge on a different way of making money. And of course, if you guys want to see more of Edgar, go follow my homie Edgar on YouTube. Link in the description below. So it's the next day and we officially know how much we made on Lime. And we made, how much Edgar, how much did we make today? 154 with 81 cents. 154 and don't forget the 84 cents, man. And just letting you know, next video, me and Edgar are collecting bird scooters. And those were harder to work with. But we actually made more money with those. So subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Like this video, comment, send me a letter, email me on the petition. Tie a little no on the pigeon. You know, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next video.